Hi Sarah. Hi. Uh, you recently released uh, your first company report this year. What are the highlights of this report? The report covers Safaricom and we focus on the company's catalyst and risks. We've also done a recent industry analysis where we've covered what has happened in the industry recently, which include uh, the loss of market share by Safaricom. We've also looked at uh, MPESA and its growth prospects and data, both mobile and fixed uh, data. Then we've done a uh, uh, DCF valuation and obtained a target price of 28.39. Mm -hmm. So you obtained a target price of 28.39. What's your view on Safaricom? Safaricom is a solid company. Its strength mainly lies in MPESA. Um, MPESA is able to maintain its uh, customers despite its relatively higher uh, rates. And so going forward, good is that to be by MPESA. It has introduced a range of new products which include the SOCO. Uh, Lipan and MPESA has also picked up well over the years. And so uh, that is it for MPESA. But mobile data is also likely to uh, increase. Fixed data, they're currently, they're currently investing in fixed data, and that will also drive growth going forward. What are these growth prospects you speak of? In terms of growth, growth is likely driven by MPESA, which will include new products. It's slowly moving away from the traditional products, which include withdrawals and transfers, and moving to the new business business segment, which is includes Lipan and MPESA. Masoko and other new products. Um, data is also likely to be a new area for growth. In terms of data, we see it's both mobile and fixed data. In fixed data space, the penetration rate in Kenya is very low, at around 1%. And so, as Safaricom continues to invest in infrastructure, the uptake is likely to be high, and so that will drive uh, growth in, fixed, in the fixed space. Um, in terms of mobile data, uh, we expect prices to come down. However, the usage, the number of us users are likely to increase, and so that will lead to an increase in data revenues. Thank you, Sarah. That was very informative. Our clients can access the report on our website and may contact us if they wish to join Safaricom.